last formal steps on the eve of the Senate trial, there are new questions about what happens next. New evidence has emerged from a key figure close to Rudy Giuliani, the president's personal lawyer. And a small group of renegade Senate Republicans could break ranks and vote to allow witness testimony. Nancy Cordes leads off our coverage tonight from Capitol Hill. For just the third time in history, House impeachment managers marched articles of impeachment across the Capitol. But the Republican-led Senate chose not to accept the articles and told the group to come back tomorrow. At the hour of 12 noon on Thursday, January 16, 2020, the Senate will receive the managers on the part of the House of Representatives. The seven managers, four men and three women, will serve as the prosecution. The White House said today it's still finalizing the president's defense team. I could use some good lawyers, right? Yeah, the hell with it. I just have to suffer through it the way I have all my life. Democrats are hoping to push the Senate to call What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Suffer through it like you have your whole life. What do you mean by that? What have you suffered? What have you suffered? You want to see suffering, brother? Come here. Now, a nice lady told me that I made $1,411 in December, January, February. And March. March hasn't even arrived yet, but they've counted my income as fourteen hundred and eleven dollars. My December income was more like if I was lucky, six, seven, somewhere around there. But the one week was hundred and thirty eight dollars or something like that. Never have I made fourteen hundred dollars in a month. Um, that's absolutely outrageous. The most I could have made even possibly, even possibly would have been 1,080, and that's if I had worked 35 hours a week. But I have never worked 35 hours a week. So, whatever. It's burned again by a bureaucracy that didn't look at the paperwork. But anyway, this is hilarious. Um, we also have today Vladimir Putin taking over the government. Um, he wrote, what he wrote was that there's no way that no one can ever remove me from power. I'm the man. So the whole government quit. Or did they? No, they quit. There's no point in having their government anymore because um, they don't have any say so. They would they would be mocked and derided. It would be stupid. Uh, lots of interesting things happened today, but not to me. Lady um, down street threatened me, sprayed stuff at my dog's stick. She, I don't know if his name is Bitsy or she was saying get her Betsy or Bitsy or. And she was trying to get the dog to attack my dog. I just was like, wow. You know, I just gave that dog a shower for 15 minutes. And I put on her the non-stinky shampoo. And I used um, some tea gel because she was scratching. And she still stinks. Anyway... She's free to a home that won't feed her to their pit bulls or abuse her. She's get pretty well. If you walk her, she won't go to the bathroom in the house. She needs to be walked. Uh, eventually, she'll know. I mean, it's routine. I'm taking her out as much as I can. Tonight, we're done. She went out. She didn't do anything, so that's that. <clears throat> she's in, she's in her, her cage. Uh, so now I got two cages because, you know, she messed up one. I just move her to the next one, clean that one. But I can't come home every night and give her a shower. Can't do it. <clears throat> Bikes are for sale. At Westinghouse. That thing is pretty sweet. I cleaned it. The Gary Fisher over there is for sale. <clears throat> 
Everything is for sale. It's a nice old table, but I found a crack on the leg. Table's for sale. It's all for sale. I'll take half price for that. It's a really nice thing to have if you got people to make coffee for. But, uh, I don't suspect I'll be here much longer. I've been asking the Holy Spirit to take me out for years and years. Not because I... I'm just tired. I just can't do it anymore. I just physically don't have the energy or the power to um, to do it. Now I'm seeing visions. All right. Well, God bless you. God bless America. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm going to tell you now that um, Vladimir Putin may be the king of the north. You know, that's exactly what the scripture says. And we'll battle against the king of the south. Is that us? You know any other kings down south? Okay. Well. Peace and serenity.